<laughs> Lost Raptor with the arm sticking in it. <laughs> From the A30, A30, where am I? Sunningdale, I think. Somewhere like that. I'm just on my way to do a wee bit of recce, a wee bit of preparation. I've had this rocket jacket now for about a year, year and a half. And one of the zips at the bottom is just beginning to fray away on the stitching. And one of the things about that's great about the rocket is that it's all kind of guaranteed for like three years or something. So I can take it back and they'll, they'll send it back to be repaired or and they'll give me another jacket in the meantime or if it's easier for them then they'll just give me another brand new jacket. So although the rocket gear is expensive, that is what you're paying for. So yeah, so I'm heading off to Infinity Motorcycles in Farnham and uh, while I'm over there I'm just going to head over to our AF Odium. I'm doing this, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> you think I'd remember. Um, ADS or ARD track day thing at RAF Woodium. So while I'm over in Farnham, because it's not too far from there, I'm just going to take a little bit of a detour and have a look just to see where the entrance is, try and figure out what's what. But it should be a good day though. I think I was kind of bullied into it, <laughs> sort of. I think it was the last time I was up at um, Lumi's. I was supposed to be meeting up with Southern Prior Tom, who was going to come up. But I can't remember what happened, he started working on his brakes or something and it was taking longer than he expected. So he couldn't make it. And by the time he, I found out, I was already halfway there, so I thought, oh, nah, I'll just go all the way to Lumi's. And when I got there, Lamb Chop Rides was there. And, uh, and Colin, who's Fred Renner's friend. And uh, Womble turned up a bit later on, but they were basically saying I should go and do it. And I'd, I'd kind of been letting two minds, but I didn't really want to go because it was two weeks before two weeks before the USA trip and I, <laughs> and I didn't want to risk it but they kind of budgeted me in that's what he's saying, you go as fast as you want to go which is fine, i got no problem with that but there's also that bit of me that's like oh, it's not just me, it could be someone coming riding into me kind of thing so, but I've booked myself in, I've gone in the novice group, which should be fine I'm not expecting Barry Sheen to appear within, <laughs> you know what I mean, within in a day, but now we'll see how it goes. My only, my only goal for the day is, is maybe to get onto the edge of my tyres, but that's about it really. The only thing that's going to be difficult, I think, is the storage thing because I've got to wear the, the leather suit for it. I'm going to have nowhere to put stuff, so I'm going to have to tape up the bike and take the mirrors off and everything before I go. I kind of want to take the number plate off as well, but I can't really ride there without the number plate. I don't know, I'll see what happens. Oof. Cheeky bastard UPS. It's a sneaky one, this. You think you can go fast, but it's a round about right on the end. Catches you out every time. Whee! Whee! Shit. <laughs> Not quite wheeling the air, but you know. Adrian Nickel Lady, I think. We've got an early 333 bike. Is this MT09? Lady <laughs> Davison. That's pretty smart, actually. I like that. Night Rod Special. It's alright, aren't they? They're alright, Infinity. They're not really tied to any dealers. Dealerships particularly, so speed triple. So you got a bit of everything in here, M209 up there. I wouldn't mind having a go one of these. We gotta clean the chain is. Oh my god, it's not right, it's not natural. <laughs> Very nice. That's a armchair. Sweet. Test me. Test me, motherfucker! I feel like a right tit now. It's weird that I've been doing this vlogging shit for a few years now. <laughs> but still I feel kind of really <laughs> weird talking in front of people. Just reposition my mic a bit. 
I noticed the audio was a bit shitty in the last few vlogs, mainly because they were all recorded in the same day, so <laughs> I'll try repositioning the mic down again. Hopefully it's better. Driver Ed that'll be army. Not too sure if the, the barbed wire fence is to keep us out or them in. <laughs> it's like a prison. It's probably a bit, a bit both. Uh, oops, wrong gear. Don't know what's going on over there. Where am this? Where am this place? <laughs> nice roads outside of that. Why there's people standing there looking over there. I wonder if that's where they do army maneuvers. Meanwhile, <laughs> 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 well. shit man, these are just the roads outside of it. <laughs> the fire beam's got a lazy eye. Look at it. <laughs> Wing mirror is a bit. See this one? Doesn't move. This one? Doop. You don't really notice it until you're going down the road and you do a mirror check and it's like, I'm being followed by an elbow! I don't get how people can wear full face. Full face. Doop. <laughs> can wear open face helmets, especially in the summertime. When they're winter time, it's freezing cold, so they'll be freezing their, their lips off. They probably get off and try and ask for petrol and like rrr, 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 rrr. Dick. And um, in the summertime, I just get covered in insects. It's bad enough when you get have the visor open and you get like A B or not a B, but you know like a small insect smacks you in the face. But if you've got your whole face exposed and you go through like a, a whole swarm of midges or something, you just <laughs> you come back looking like you've suddenly got measles. <laughs> it's cool though, so that 20 is plenty instead of a 20 mile an hour limit. I like that, that's good. <clears throat> Even though it's a 40 limit. F off! <laughs> yeah, road closed. It's a bit posh, isn't it? Who lives here? <laughs> Some fing rich <laughs> Fair enough. Nicholas School, where the kids aren't allowed to wear any undercrackers. A brooch. Get it? Nicholas? Nicholas? <coughs> I got a question for you, it just popped in my head. Where did the, uh, the term murdered out come from? Meaning something that is blacked out. Usually like a matte black as well. I've, I've seen it around quite a few times. I think the first time I saw it was an American program to do with hot rods. Hot rods, but uh, street drag racing. This guy's got a car called the Murder Nova. When it's basically, it's all blacked out. And, uh, let's try it this way. And uh, I've heard it a few times, even even I was watching some Revzilla reviews of, uh, I can't remember what it was, it was uh, a jacket. I think it was an Alpenstar jacket. It was just uh, a black with white accents, and he was talking about how it would be nice to have one as an option that was murdered out, meaning all black. It's the black with the black accents. Where did that start from? You could have one that would be all white, like pure white, and you could call it socially awkward. <laughs> okay, what are the chances this isn't going to make end of the vlog? <laughs> Maybe, who knows. But yeah, where did the phrase murder it come from? I don't know, maybe it was like used in a lot of uh, drive-by shootings or something, a, a stealth car that would be used that, wouldn't be, that you wouldn't see coming. So yeah. Let me know, comments below, you know what to do, look in my shoe. <laughs> Stay there, f***er. Oh, okay. Let's have a look back and see if I was supposed to give away there. <laughs> I didn't see any giveaway signs, but... F*** you, bitch, I'm coming through. Anyway, that's it from me, people. Peace out, my weemers. And I shall uh, catch you again soon. I was supposed to be meeting that worst time. Oh, man.